What's up, everyone? Um, I am James from uh, the Resistance Broadcast, and I thought I'd do a little bit of a uh, Star Wars Resistance, the television show, uh, series review. We just got the second season's final finale. Final finale. The show is over officially now. Here's the thing about it is that over the course of the entire show, we've gotten pushback as far as it's a kid show. It's not for me. I absolutely still think that that is true, but I think that it's kind of getting overlooked. So it's kind of getting a little bit of a bad reputation, basically just being misunderstood. Now that the, the show is over, the show got canceled after a second season, you know, when we first heard that that news had dropped, our initial thoughts were the show was bad, and so therefore they were canceling it. Then it kind of moved into, no, I think that it has more to do with it's a Disney Channel property, and they're wanting to move over to Disney+. Plus. And now that I'm kind of looking at it as a whole... The story itself, that idea only really could be stretched out to two seasons. I think if they really, really wanted to, they could have drug it out even further. But I think everybody will kind of agree there's a lot of episodes that really don't do a whole lot other than to kind of be like, well, here's another day in the life of these characters. I think with Star Wars Resistance more than any other show, there's probably a big cut down that you could do if you just want to kind of get the story of what it is. The resistance has gotten wind that there might be some first order activity going on in this area. Now, this all takes place before the Force Awakens, so the first order while it's a major problem, it's not a huge problem within the context of the galaxy. So, they send this guy here. He kind of starts spying and looking around and he ends up finding some first order. And when that happens, the place that he's at and the people he's come to know are now in a bigger danger. And the First Order shows up and is willing to do what they always do, destroy and kill all these people just to get what they want. That is basically where we left season one. Season two then comes in and says, I'm the person on board right now that is kind of linked to the resistance is because they're busy. There's no way they can come and help us and get us out of this situation. The resistance is just a small band of people. So I'm going to kind of represent the resistance and I'm going to help you get out of this situation. And that is season two. Kaz gets to a point. He recognizes that they're about as, as well off as they can be. And so he goes and he says, now it's time for me to go back to the resistance. And that really is like the end of the show. There's one final thing. The the first order has been notified. They're in trouble and you got to come back and you got to do one big bang at the end of the show. When the show wraps and it's over, they don't tell you, but I really allude to the fact that Kaz goes, cool. I'm glad I fixed everything. Now on to my next adventure. I think that ultimately the story of Star Wars Resistance has kind of come down to a novel or something. And it just feels like an adventure with these characters. But what's actually interesting is I probably spend more time reading or listening to an audiobook um, than uh, a season. But if you think about it, you add it all up, it's about the, the same as a book. So I just kind of think of it as like, hey, here's one Star Wars adventure that we wanted to tell. I celebrate a lot of those stories in Star Wars. I feel that even though they don't directly connect or or tie into the larger stories, I generally will accept them as Star Wars stories and adventures within that world. I think that people really wanted Star Wars Resistance to tie into the bigger lore and that's just it never really i don't i don't think at least it was ever really set to be that here's one story that we'd like to tell that happened on this planet a long long time ago in a galaxy far far away you got to remember that the people who are being introduced to star wars when watching this show 
are are learning the characters is I like Tam, I like Kaz, I like Yeager, and then they start asking questions about the bigger world. Is the show worth watching for anybody who is kind of on the fence? I don't think that the show is going to really give you something that is payoff. Even though I feel like the way the show ends, you could totally understand that Kaz would totally be there at the end of Rise of Skywalker. I don't I don't think it's it's going to give you that huge impact that you're looking for. I think very rarely you're going to see like, yeah, okay, well, Kylo Ren sent people to go do this on this planet one time. And that's really about as good as it's going to get. But I think in the sense of Star Wars in general, when we tend to celebrate the details, there is a footnote and a detail that there was a member of the Resistance named Kazuto, and he was sent to this planet to sort out all these things, and he was heavily involved with these First Order ships and, and officers and things like that. And this whole thing happened that is now cataloged in a two season television show. If you want to go check it out, you want to see what happened. This is what happened. And it was pretty good when you get down to the core elements of the people who were on the station and how their opinions changed about the first order and the resistance and how they needed a fight for themselves. I don't want to give the show like a rank or a score or anything like that. This video is a little bit more of like a series review. I just kind of wanted to talk about it and how I still think it's a worthwhile show just to partake in over the course of a couple days. I don't know. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this show for the first time on um, Disney Plus when it comes at the end of February. And for anybody who's toying around with the idea of it, 20 minute episodes, not that bad. Throw them on. Like in the course of watching a movie, you could watch like five of these episodes. I don't know. Me personally, I did it. I loved it. I liked the show. For anybody else that said like, I stuck with it too, or I really enjoyed it. You're going to be able to connect with those people, those fans on that particular level. So that's 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 where I'm at. That's where I am at. I love the show, but I hope that we uh, see some of these characters show up in different ways. I just don't think they'll completely shut the door on all these things. I would like to see Kaz show up in pre the rise of Skywalker stuff or something along those lines. As far as like the aces and all those other things, I think it would be really cool if another show altogether at some point or a book or something like visits those, those locations. And then they meet up with those people and they say, Hey, yeah, we fought in the war against the first order. Um, I don't know. (laughs) I'm just being typical James. This is me. I love the Canon. I love how all the stories connect. And I want to see more things happen. So at the end of it, Star Wars Resistance, thumbs up from me, both seasons. I get the downside, but I love the upside. That's it for my series review, series recap, series reflection. A lot of R words. I don't know if we'll talk about it on the Resistance broadcast or not, but if you want to tune in to our regular show, check in the Resistance broadcast on Mondays and Thursdays and Head over to StarWarsNewsNet.com for everything else, and uh, I'll see you later.